I think the, the main message about EDMO and the raison d'etre for, for EDMO, if you will, is uh, that we need a multi-stakeholder approach to, tackle, to first understanding and then tackling disinformation. That there's no single mechanism, no sing single instrument that can solve this problem, but, but we need a lot of different players involved. We need smart regulation, we need media literacy education, and we need proper research and empowered fact-checking. One thing that, the, since as you, as you said, the big companies are, are doing moderating decisions every, every second currently, there needs to be transparency about that. Transparency about the, the, how they do it, who does it, on, on what grounds, and there needs to be a mechanism for redress, which for some exists and some is not quite so functional at, at the, the moment. The best way to tackle this information is to bring, a, bring about a toolbox. It's a very European, it's a very Brussels term, I, I know, but the, I think that's what we have. Legislation bringing responsibility to the very large online platforms. That's of course number one that needs to be in, in, in place. And there needs to be a monitoring and reinforcement. There need to be indicators to, so that we can all see if they are actually following the legislation and, uh, and, follow, and implementing the commitments they do in the code of practice. On top of that, as many people said also in the panel, media literacy education is as definitely at least as important. Because the resilience of our societies against disinformation is an absolute must. There's nothing we can do to completely eliminate this information in the online sphere. It's just not doable, so we can try to mitigate it, we can try to control it, but we need to be resilient against it.